Well, good morning. Fall is now upon us here. The weather has certainly changed, but we've been busy for the past couple of weeks. Uh, in this video, we're going to be um, showing you all the installation of the windows, how that was done with the big windows and the port lights as well, too. And a special hello to all the people watching the videos I've been putting on the web. I appreciate it. And a special thanks to uh, some New Zealand friends, Jonathan and Donna. Thank you so much for checking in all uh, your comments. Uh, love you guys. Hope you, like, hope you like the video. Okay, my job today is getting things ready to get fittings back on the boat. Our plan is number one, to get some of the deck fittings on so we can mark out the Kiwi grip. We're gonna be putting the windows in next. Then we're gonna be using, uh, applying the Kiwi grip. Then the tow rail gets added on and then the hull can be painted. The keel is last. So last night, everything had tubes and tubes and stuff here. So I had to mark it, make sure they're using the right product at the right time. We're using Secaflex 291 white for the deck fittings. Once the Kiwi grip goes on, some of the fittings that go on top of that, we're gonna be using the mildew resistant silicone and that's clear and transparent. The Kiwi grip now comes in one liter bags. So as I said earlier, we're using stark white for the color of the boat. This is white, white. So we're gonna take it down to Sherman Williams. We're gonna see if we can soften this and tint it closer to stark white. Do one bag, test it, put it in the gallon, then mix everything together. The windows, we had to switch to a Canadian product because the US product, I couldn't get the primer for it up here in Canada. So we're gonna use Zikaflex 295 UV white for the windows, but first the primer has to be applied to the frame, the plastic frame, so it gives a better adhesion for the caulking. At the store, they were telling me one chap bought new windows, used the 295, didn't use the primer, and they were leaking, so they had to take the whole thing apart. I don't want that to happen because I might break for sure, the frame getting it back out. So we're gonna do the job right. It's only like $43 for this little can, but it's critical. The deck cavity, as you can see, the space between the hull and the deck, we're gonna be using this product, 4200 black, the day before we put the tow rail down. And the tow rail, we're using Sikaflex 291 black. So <laughs> there's all my ingredients. I was saying to Diane, I feel like Jamie Oliver. <laughs> I wonder he would say about all this. Of course, cat breaks are mandatory. These yard cats come over. Hey, that's a good stretch, isn't it? Oh. Hey. The job for today is installing fittings onto the deck. We're going to uh, use as many of the old parts, nuts and bolts included, as I can. A little bit of cleanup. They come out just sparkling. A few things I have to replace, they're broken, but not very many. Yesterday evening, I staged everything. Ready for installation today. What goes where? What I thought was gonna be a two hour job turned out to be about four, but it's worth it. Nice to see some parts get put back on the boat. My brother-in-law is gonna come over and help me because uh, my hands aren't 30 feet long, so I need someone to hold boats on the outside as I screw them tight inside. And there we have it. I love messing around with boats. There we are. 
are. Diane's finished the painting of Willow on the back of the hatch cover. And now we're just clear coating it. Hey, Blue, what you got? What you got, Blue? Thank you very much, Diane, for doing that. We're sealing caulking the windows now. The primer, the black color, has been applied to the first two windows, and then two windows at a time. Even the inside, we primed. About 10 minutes, hey Stratus, for it to be 10 minutes to be dried. And we're doing the Sucaflex 295 UV and the primer comparison black. Big strong bead all the way around. Super massive. Now I'm gonna go inside and seal it. Walk the place here. Out. And as you're tightening it, that's going to squeeze out. And then you're going to clean it as you go. All right. And we're going to clean it with just a little bit of a uh, the wax tube. and grease remover. Wax and grease remover. Solvent degreaser. Okay, I'll get inside. I'm sure glad I invested in new windows. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. The final window. Okay, so tonight's project is putting back in the port light windows. Originally, the holes did not come through the uh, frame of the, of the window. It actually was just screwed in from the inner with uh, 10 screws. And the outer frame <coughs> that went on top was solid. And it was just not good. Um, the screws on the inside were holding the window against the frame and it could be easily be pushed out and it leaked and uh, we had to over caulk the outside of it of the frame so it wouldn't leak so stratus and i were talking we've come up with an idea we uh, drilled right through to the outside of the uh, right through the frame we're going to use barrel bolts and uh, the night previously we drilled drilled right through and uh, made a, uh, the barrel boat so we could put him on the outside like this. And I think it's gonna work. It's gonna actually bring the window together stronger. Caulking, of course, will seal it with the primer and I, that's a stronger window for sure. We'll see how that works. That's a good idea because it's going to pour out. Yeah, a little bit. That's the trick. The sealing plastic to fiberglass. Is a primer. Is a primer. Yeah, I would never have thought about that does and does. That's probably a reason why these windows, you know, the port ones, of course, leaked the first time. So last time we were uh, talking, you were talking about how much or how little 
caulking people put on windows. And I notice how the thick beads you use. Why is that? Well, because you want to ensure that you, when you place the window in its position, you squeeze the, the window down with the fasteners, you want to ensure that, ensure that you don't have any air pockets in behind and that you have an even bead of caulking on the flange. A lot of people cheap out a little bit on the caulking, the yeah. amount of caulking they use. And then when you go to tighten it down, you end up squeezing all the, the caulking out or it doesn't create the seam, so then you create another leak. Right. So it's better to use a bit more caulking, and yes, it's a bit more cleanup, but that ensures the amount of the seal that you're creating, the gasket you're creating. Now, were we, you were cleaning the outside when it was pouring out with a, a special degreaser? Yeah, it's just a general degreaser. It's the only stuff that doesn't uh, bite into the caulking uh, and weaken the, uh, the sealant. Right. So the important part of caulking is to put caulking in this, in this seam line here. Well, not seam line, this joint line yeah. here. Because that's the cavity and around here, this is not 100%. No. Fit. It's a little loose. So you want to make sure that you create a gasket in between this corner here, between this block, which is the primer fiberglass, and this corner here, which is the plastic. Right. Because generally, it's going to leak from here or it's going to leak from your fasteners. Yeah. And you, you don't want caulking in your fasteners. So I usually caulk around the fasteners. And by the time you squeeze it all down it's going to create a seal around the fasteners as well as around the fiberglass cutout all right let's get this in you see here now we actually got the window in from the inside and the flange on the outside we put these screws on so that we can actually hold this flange in place because normally with these windows they just glue them with uh, sealant and they never stick. And so they always peel back. Most likely you're gonna get most of your water penetration from in here. So although I put all that caulking on that flange, you can see here where it's still dry. There's no caulking in there. So I'm gonna actually inject some of the caulking in there. You can see here around the side, it's oozed out nicely. So you know you got a good seal around the bottom. And then you can also see here where it's missing missing a little bit. And then particularly in this this area here, you can see this whole cavity. Oh god, yeah. So now we're gonna go backfill all that so we can get a nice seal in there. And then clean it all up. Perfect. Glazing tool? Yeah. Yeah, I just do uh, work on windshields on cars. Here's a closer look at the final job for the port light. The barrel bolts actually give it a, a lot of strength to the window now. It's not gonna leak for sure. We sealed all around the edges here again and cleaned it up. I'll clean it up and polish it later on. But yeah, it's gonna be okay. It's not the right windows for the boat. These windows actually should be on the hull so it drains out better, but it is what it is. And it's not too bad. It kind of matches the bolts here with the bolts here and so the stainless steel that we'll have on the boat a little bit. Yeah. And the plastic frames at least match the new windows.